Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Today we want to look at St. Matthew chapter 13, verse 47 through 50, the seventh mystery parable. Today we will see a dragnet, a universal effects of the truth and this prophecy or this parable or this mystery is being fulfilled and will be completely fulfilled at the second advent. We will see from this parable today that it illustrates, as we say, the universal gospel, the work of gathering men and women into the kingdom of heaven their continuance together as we will see in this dragnet all the fish is in the same net maybe looking alike but their separation and destiny is at the end just like the parable of the wheat and the tears in in uh, saint matthew 13 verse 36 to verse 43 our lesson today is telling out, telling us that there is going to be a sorting out of a sea catch, just as the fish, fishing net catches both good and bad fish. There will be many associated with the kingdom who are not true believers. We say only professors they do not really possess the kingdom and only at the judgment will their true identity become known so is at the end that the true identity will become known as we look at saint matthew chapter 13 verse 47 it says to us again the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind which when it was full they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels but cast the bad away verse 49 and 50 tells us the parable of the dragnet is now explained. It says, so shall it be at the end of the world. The angels will come forth and sever the wicked from among the just and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. So here we see in this parable in this series in saint matthew chapter 13 the parable in this series is likened to the kingdom today this one the kingdom is it is like a sieve or a dragnet as we say that is cast into the sea gathered fish as the scripture tells us of every kind the fishermen sorted out the fish keeping the good in containers and discarding the bad when we look at st matthew 13 49 and 50 our lord himself interprets the parable the time is the at the end of the age that is the end of the tribulation period it is the time of the second advent of christ the fishermen are the angels the good fish are the righteous that is the saved people both jews and gentiles the bad fish are what the unrighteous namely unbelieving people of all races a separation taking place as well also as we see in the parable of the wheat and the tears in verse 30 and verse 39 
through 43 of St. Matthew chapter 13. The righteous enters into the kingdom of their father, whereas the unrighteous are consigned to a place of fire where there is a wailing and gnashing of teeth. This is not the final judgment. However, this judgment takes place at the outset of the millennial. The final judgment occurs after the thousand year reign of Christ is finished. And we will see that in Revelation chapter 20 verse 7 through verse 15. So as we look at the parable, what is it saying? It is telling us that a net is cast and this drag net is let down into the sea which as we have seen it represents the nations. The parable refers to the preaching of the everlasting gospel as it will take place during the great tribulation. Revelation 14 verse 6 and 7. The separation of the good and bad is done as we have seen by the angels, the reapers. All this cannot be just for the church. Neither for just this time when the kingdom is about to be set up. The angels will be used as is so clearly seen in the book of Revelation. The wicked will be cast into the furnace of fire and the righteous will remain in the earth for the millennial kingdom for the reign of Christ upon the earth. So as we see from what is just said, this parable is being fulfilled and will be completely fulfilled at the second advent. When we take a look at Revelation chapter 20 verse 7 through verse 15, it says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle. The number whom as is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and the brimstone where the beast and the false prophets are and shall be tormented day and night forever and i saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them and i saw the dead small and great stand before god and the books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works and the sea gave up their dead which were in it and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire so we see the day is coming when there is going to be a separation of the good from the bad of the wheat from the tears and only those whose name are found in the book of life will continue in the earth 
to be a part of the kingdom that will reign with Christ during this 1,000 year reign. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.